historic day for Hennessy Tech Women's Basketball. We are one of the story women's basketball programs in NCAA, NCAA Division I athletics. You know, number eighth in, in all time victories. Only now five head coaches in the history of our program. That is absolutely remarkable, and I think it's just one of our tremendous sources of pride for Tennessee Tech University over its, over its history. And today is certainly an excellent day when Tennessee Tech can get a coach that is a proven leader, a proven educator, and certainly a proven winner. We are so thrilled with those qualities. But first and foremost is we're getting a man of high character and high integrity. A man that is going to teach and coach our student athletes, work to provide a positive student athlete experience, make sure that our women's basketball student athletes graduate from Tennessee Tech with a degree that they're going to be able to be productive in their lives after Tennessee Tech. But also, he's a coach that we know is going to lead Tennessee Tech women's basketball to more championships. And that is the tradition. Women's basketball at Tennessee Tech is the program that has won the most championships in its history, going back to the days of Marinol Metters, Bill Whirl, Amy Brown, and then continued under Sophia Messer. So today is just a great day, a historic day. I am so thrilled that Jim Davis has agreed to, uh, to come to Tennessee Tech. We already know he looks pretty good in purple. We just have to get rid of the, old, the orange that went with the purple and, and replace that with gold. <laughs> But I can tell you, when, uh, when Coach Davis came to campus and interviewed, at the conclusion of the day and from reading all the evaluations from the people that he met with, there was no doubt who was the right fit for women's basketball at this time. You know, programs of this level, typically we don't attract leaders and coaches with this kind of experience. But I can tell you, we've had great success just across the parking lot with head coach Watson Brown. And that was certainly one of the factors that that led me to want Coach Davis to, to lead our program. So we'll, we'll continue on with the program here, but Coach, welcome to Tennessee Tech. But before uh, before we continue on with the program, we have to do a special welcome. So Bobby, will you come up here quickly join me, please? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal Coach's thunder a little bit. <laughs> this is certainly his best half. Okay. And this is Bobby Davis, and quickly, uh, last Friday I learned that, uh, that she's going to be an integral part of our program. And ladies, I know she's going to be a mom here at Tennessee Tech. Board. I figured that out within the first 30 seconds that, that, I, met, that I met her last week. And, uh, and she may be, be a little bit of a mom to me, so that'll, that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll be really special. So, Bobby, uh, you know, just on behalf of the entire Tennessee Tech community and Tennessee Tech Athletics and, and certainly those young ladies over there lining the wall and all the future uh, Golden Eagle women's basketball players will be here. This is just a small token of our welcome, so welcome to Tennessee Tech. Thank you. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, our uh, current president, and uh, certainly, uh, as we know, his last day at Tennessee Tech is on Saturday, June 30th, but he's been a tremendous leader for Tennessee Tech and certainly for Tennessee Tech Athletics. And, a lot of the growth that, uh, that uh, we have achieved is because of his leadership here. And uh, this is kind of going to be one of his uh, final uh, farewell speeches on our campus. So it's my great pleasure to introduce President Dr. Bob Bell. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. This is indeed a, an outstanding day for Tennessee Tech University, not just for Tennessee Tech Athletics, or for Golden Eagle women's basketball, but literally for the entire university. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome an alumnus back to campus. Uh, it's a great day to welcome the family back. We are excited about uh, the future of this program under Coach's leadership. So it's going to be a, a, a time where we've brought in a proven winner, someone who knows the road to the NCAA, someone that knows the road to the the women's NIT, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And Coach Gloria and I are going to be right next to you the whole time. And ladies, you know where we used to sit, 
I'm not sure where we're going to sit this year, but you'll hear us. It's great to, great to have you back, Jim, and, and to the family, and welcome back to the Tennessee Tech family. And uh, again, we're excited about the future of, of this sport at Tennessee Tech University. Coach, welcome. Thank you, sir. Wesleyan College here and uh, save those cheers for these young ladies over here. You're right, I've never worked for two presidents at the same time. I was at Clemson through four football coaches, four men's basketball coaches, and four presidents, so I've had to be a little flexible, but never two at the same time. Bobby and I are thrilled. Uh oh. Drew Huff finds one. Thank you. Bobby and I are thrilled to be a part of the Tennessee Tech family. And I want to express my gratitude to Director of Athletics, Mark Wilson, and to Senior Associate uh, Athletic Director, Frank Harrell, and to uh, Assistant Athletic Director, Tammy McMillan, uh, who's the Senior Women's Administrator. I also want to thank the screening committee. Uh, several members are here today, I see and uh, as well as President Emeritus, soon to be President Emeritus, Dr. Robert Bell, and uh, incoming President Dr. Phil Odom. Uh, I appreciate their support and, and being able to talk with them and the trust and confidence that they've placed in me. As Mark has already alluded uh, to the fact that Tennessee Tech has a unbelievable tradition in women's basketball. Uh, Dating back to 1970, being governed, I guess is the, the correct term, by the old AIAW, uh, when Marinelle started this program in 1970-71, uh, through the recognition of women's basketball by the NCAA as a sport, uh, and to the present day, uh, when uh, Tennessee Tech has always been a force on the hardwood. And, uh, of course, Marinelle uh, stayed here for 16 years. And it's, 
incredible for a program to be in existence since 1970 and only have five head coaches. That is, uh, uh, that speaks a lot, first of all, for Tennessee Tech and for the community and the Upper Cumberland region. Uh, it, it's a great place to live, uh, and we're looking forward to uh, joining in the community and uh, becoming a part of this community. Of course, uh, Bill Whirl served as an assistant to Marinell for several years and then led the program for 19 years. That's unheard of in college athletics today, uh, I think. So uh, Coach Whirl served the, uh, the university well for 19 years, and Amy Brown was his assistant for nine years. Of course, Amy played up the road at Livingston, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Hall guy, anybody know what that means? <laughs> but uh, uh, Amy served three years as head coach, and then, uh, of course, Coach Messer. And she called me this morning, by the way, congratulating me, and uh, uh, said to be sure and give her love to all the Tennessee Tech people. And uh, so she's hard at work at Georgia Tech now. But anyway, all these coaches led used to be called Eaglelet Basketball, but it's now Golden Eagle Basketball. And uh, they led the program to incredible success. And uh, I hope we can continue to build on that rich tradition uh, that they have established and the foundation they've established. I do embrace the past. I appreciate people who laid the foundation and who did the work and has brought the program to the level that it is now. But I look with great anticipation to the future. In the few days that I've been back on this beautiful campus, uh, and in the short time I've got to spend with this team, our team, our team, you got that? Uh, then uh, I've been so impressed with the quality of our student athletes. And I was gonna ask them to stand, but they already are. <laughs> I want you to give them a big round of applause. <laughs> I haven't seen them dribble, I haven't seen them shoot, I haven't seen them pass, I haven't seen them rebound, and I haven't seen them defend. <laughs> but I believe these uh, young ladies are of high character. They have an incredible team chemistry. <coughs> they care about each other. And they succeed in the classroom. You know, one of the things that impressed me when I spoke with Mark was he said his goal for every student athlete at Tennessee Tech was to have a championship ring on one hand and a diploma in the other. So that's your charge, ladies. But all these characteristics uh, are very important in team building. And uh, we're looking to build more than just an exemplary team. We want to build an exemplary program. And uh, one which Tennessee Tech alumni, students, faculty and staff will be proud. We will compete and we'll win. We will graduate our student athletes. We will represent this university with class and dignity. Family has always been so important to me. Uh, I'm a 10. Now, I look around this room, and I see there's not another guy in here who can honestly say he's a 10. <laughs> but I'm the 10th of 12 children. <laughs> And all 10 of us are still living by the grace of God. So uh, <coughs> family is very important to me. And Bobby is the head coach at our house, <laughs> I assure you. Uh, and we're so proud. And they lied to me. They just flat out lied to me. They said they couldn't come. But our son... <laughs> Todd, our daughter-in-law, Rhonda, 
and the two most intelligent, <laughs> most precious, sweetest, kindest, most beautiful grandchildren in America <laughs> are with us today. I want to ask uh, Todd, Rhonda, Ansley, and Jake if you'll stand, please. I also have other members of my family here that I want to introduce. Uh, my nephew, Bill, who uh, has lived here in Cookville since he graduated from Tennessee Tech years and years ago, uh, and his wife, Madge, who is a Tennessee Tech grad, and Mary and Katie, who are both Tennessee Tech grads, are here. She don't want me to let, she, uh, Madge don't want me to have them stand, but uh, I want them to stand as well. If you would, please. Now, another nephew who's been in Cookville probably longer than anybody, uh, in our family, but uh, uh, our, ne our nephew, he married our, our niece, so I guess that makes him our nephew, and we are proud to, that he is in our family. Uh, but uh, Larry Buckner and his son Zach are here, both are Tennessee Tech graduates, so if you two would stand. <laughs> and there's two other people that I, see in the audience that I must introduce because they made me look like I knew what I was doing for a long time. And I won't, ladies, they are off limits to you. You cannot speak to these two young ladies because they were my point guards at Tennessee for probably eight years they're running there. I don't know, maybe not that long. I, I inherited Susan, but uh, I mean at, at Clemson, did I say Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get that orange out yeah, of I know, I know, I know. But I want them to stand because they are special young ladies to uh, our family. And uh, Peggy Sales, who has a cookable background, y'all might know her mom and dad, uh, Jack and Betty Sales. And then Susan Failing, and I don't know what her married name is now, but uh, she's from Knoxville. And I want them to stand. They're, they're former players of mine. So give them a hand. <laughs> At any rate, we are honored to be a part of the Tennessee Tech family. Uh, you know, this community and Upper Cumberland, the, all Upper Cumberland, have always been very supportive of Tennessee Tech women's basketball. Uh, I've brought teams to El uh, Hooper Evelyn Center, and uh, I know what a great home court advantage we have here in this facility. I know firsthand the admiration that the fans have uh, for women's basketball. And uh, I challenge you now to get behind this team, to don your purple and gold, be loud and proud. Go Golden Eagles. Thank you. First of all, uh, I flunked retirement. <laughs> uh, I retired and I can't say no. Uh, I was on three committees at church. I was in the Rotary Club running their golf tournament. I was helping build Habitat for Humanity houses. I was delivering meals on wheels. I was running the Tiger Letter Winners Golf Tournament. I was on the board of directors for Foothills FCA. I had to go back to work to get some rest. <laughs> so uh, it was, uh, I was invited in 2009 to come and be an assistant coach with the Minnesota Lynx. 
And that just kind of whetted my appetite again. I knew I wasn't ready to hang up the whistle. So, uh, uh, but I can't tell you how honored I am to be the coach at Tennessee Tech. And uh, I was an assistant at Young Harris College that for two for 18 months, uh, and that that satisfied my need to teach and to coach and to the working relationship with young ladies. But I still had that yearning down deep inside to lead a program, and uh, I, I couldn't think of a better place to do it than Tennessee Tech recruiting. If I could recruit every player from Putnam County, I would. But we're going to recruit players who are quality people, who are quality players, and players that can help us win championships. If we could get them all in the Upper Cumberland, we would. We're going to look there first. But if they're not there, believe you me, we're going to go as far as we have to go to get good players who are good people. Coach, I always have a question at this point, and that is, uh, what's the record going to be this year? <laughs> well, we're going to win all we can. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I asked these young ladies the other night when I met with them that, uh, you know, they've already got one championship ring. And I know they aren't content with that. Last year they lost in the championship game to uh, UT Martin. And uh, I asked them what the difference was. And they said, well, they had two little old guards that they couldn't guard. Well, you can ask these two people back here. You'll learn to guard those two little old guards. <laughs> so, uh, Okay, we appreciate everybody being here today. Uh, let Coach do with some of the uh, media interviews he has to do, and I encourage everybody to come on out and welcome him. But ladies and gentlemen, Head Coach Jim Davis. The goals that I have, obviously, uh, first of all, graduating. Every player that comes through this program, I expect them to graduate. Uh, and, and so that's important to us. I expect them to be good people. I expect them to be good family members. I want their family to be important in this program as well. Great. Thank you. Welcome to the team. You're going to find the Upper Cumberland, uh, whether it's athletics, economic development, we're all one big team. And uh, you're very important. We're excited. And uh, good luck. God bless you. And if we Thank get you. Let us know. Well, if I can help you anyway, speaking, I'd love to be in the community speaking to the civic sure. clubs and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just call me anytime. And if I can. Actually, I'm a transplant here too. And I oh, yeah? They didn't blow me and my wife and son out here with Dinah. Right, yes. right, right. Good luck to Great. you. Great. Nice Thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm Diane Gill. Diane Gill. I'm Molly Hetty's grandmother. Bless your hearts. She got any sisters? No, she's got a brother. <laughs> she has a brother? 